The UK's phone hacking scandal reaches a climax today when Rupert and James Murdoch, along with their former News International chief, Rebecca Brooks, will be grilled by a committee of MPs. Yet on the eve of what's likely to be a dramatic day in the fortunes of the Murdoch media empire, the body of whistleblower Sean Hoare was found at his home. Hoare was a former News of the World journalist who claimed phone hacking was endemic at the paper. Police are treating his death as unexplained. The scandal has now claimed a scalp of a second top British policeman, John Yates. The UK's counter-terrorism chief had been criticised for failing to investigate the allegations despite new evidence. His resignation follows that of Metropolitan Police Commissioner Paul Stevenson. And now Prime Minister David Cameron is dashing back from South Africa to recall Parliament over the crisis. His own judgment's been questioned concerning his close relations with several members of Murdoch's inner circle.